เพื่ Good evening. There are fears tonight that the centre of Weymouth may have been contaminated with dangerous asbestos dust. Residents were told to stay indoors after a big fire destroyed one of the town's best-known landmarks. The former theatre contained asbestos, which can cause cancer. The fire took just minutes to spread throughout the Alexandra Gardens. The Victorian building is one of the oldest on Weymouth seafront. Over 100 firefighters and 14 fire engines were called out. The building's timber roof and the strong wind made tackling the blaze difficult. Such was the severity of the fire, it took some three hours to bring it under control. The fire started in the roof and we were called to a roof fire. Uh, we don't know the cause, we can't get into the area where the fire started for safety reasons at the moment. We've just seen a large amount of it collapse behind. How dangerous and difficult has this been to tackle? Very dangerous because of the structure of the building and because of the high winds we've had this morning. But we have got safety officers all around the building and personnel are at a safe distance where they're on the outside of the building. As the firefighters damped the remains down, a new threat emerged. The building had been constructed with asbestos, some forms of which can cause cancer. People in nearby buildings were told to keep windows shut. Public health officials fearing the fire had released asbestos particles into the town. The asbestos cement sheeting may have decomposed in the fire and um, fibres of cement may have been blown downwind. Now, how much of a risk would something like this be? I don't consider it a particularly great risk. I think, um, in actual fact, it's fairly small, but nevertheless there is a risk, so we have to cover every eventuality. It's not yet clear how the fire began, but it's believed an electrical fault may be to blame. No one was injured in the blaze. A team of at least a dozen council officials have been checking the area for any larger pieces of asbestos that may have been released, and the police cordoned off the area downwind of the building. But health officials stress the risk of contamination is small. Well, joining me now from the scene of the fire is Weymouth's Assistant Chief Environmental Health Officer, Peter Langham. Mr Langham, we heard just then you say the contamination risks are small, but police at one point told people to actually stay inside, so they can't be that small, can they? No, no. We've, we've had a look at the situation. In actual fact, the uh, amount of asbestos is minimal. There is a small amount of asbestos on the, on the roof of the building, but we're quite happy that there was no asbestos within the building, which would be uh, a greater cause of concern. But some medical experts will actually say there is no safe level of exposure to asbestos. There is no safe level, no. Um, I mean, obviously, there are levels which are laid down as, uh, as being at risk. But, I mean, in this circumstance, in these circumstances, there was no problem. How do you actually know that, though? Well, I mean, obviously, this you can only know from experience. I mean, obviously, it is known that a lot of people have been exposed to fairly high levels of asbestos and have never had any problems as a result of that exposure. Very, very so quickly. So uh, you have to limit the risk. Very quickly, what would you say to people who were in the area at the time? Well, I don't think anybody in the area would have to be concerned. I mean, obviously, there may have been a slight release, but, uh, but that wouldn't have been anything above any sort of normal level that uh, may be present in the atmosphere from, from normal situations. Mr Lang, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Bright Residents of nearby homes were evacuated and roads cordoned off as more than 80 firemen battled to control the blaze in torrential rain. Many people watched in horror from the beach as the arcade went up in flames. The firemen's efforts were hampered by dense black smoke and the constant threat of the building collapsing. The other hazard, asbestos dust, believed to be in the panelling which made up the framework of the 100-year-old building. Police of tonight warned holidaymakers to stay indoors and urged residents to keep their windows shut in case any asbestos has escaped. The cause of the blaze is still being investigated. The building, which once housed the Alexandra Theatre, was set for demolition in about 18 months' time to make way for a leisure complex. Tonight, there's very little left to pull down. Police say it's a miracle that no one was...